All right, we're near George Washington, and these sprinklers behind me here are part of the irrigation system uh, that was actually started years ago with the construction of the Grand Coulee Dam. It's also called the Reclamation Project. And uh, what they did there is they, they made a reservoir out of Banks Lake, and from there, with a series of uh, canals, they irrigate this whole plateau area. And that's the reason that agriculture is even possible here. As you drive around, you see all kinds of these sprinklers here. Some of them uh, are linear. They'll go across the field back and forth. Others are circular. They'll go around a single point. Uh, therefore, like when you fly over this area, a lot of the fields then appear to be, and they are, uh, round fields because of the sprinkler system. Uh, but once again, this would, this area would not be even, uh, it, w it wouldn't even be practical to, to farm this area because of lack of rainfall. But with the, uh, with the irrigation system of the Grand Coulee Dam, we're able to grow these things. I don't know what this is here, but it doesn't smell very good. I don't know what it is. Johnny, do you smell it? What does it smell like to you? I don't smell it. I do smell it, and I don't like it. Pick some. And I'll smell it. it. Smells kind of strong. Could be some kind of a mint. Could be peppermint. I think it's peppermint. It is peppermint. I'm sure of it. from 1933 to 1941. This addition we're touring today wasn't a part of that original plan. They added it from 1967 to 1975. The six generating units in this building tripled the power output of the original 18 that we have in the left and right power plant. This is the big Columbia River in front of you, the most powerful river in North America. It takes a lot of water to run generators as big as the ones we have down here. These are the largest in the world those big penstock tubes again? Give me an idea how much water they carry. How many of you have been to the Hoover Dam? I have. You saw the Colorado River? That's 15,000 cubic feet of water. Each one of those is carrying twice that flow. Oh. All six generators active in this building, we have the equivalent of 12 Colorado Rivers on this side of the project alone. We are by far the largest producer of hydroelectric power in North America, and this dam is the third largest hydroelectric producer in the entire world. This big monument here, a testament to all that hard work, still today the largest solid concrete structure on Earth. Just short of a mile from that yellow crane to that yellow crane. It is 550 feet high, 350 feet above the river, 200 feet below the river, and 500 feet wide out there. Here we are at the Grand Coulee Dam, and what we're going to do today is uh, I'm going to crawl all the way across the Grand Coulee Dam. It's uh, 57 feet short of a mile in length. That includes a new little section that, that kind of goes off the old section at an angle. I don't think it's ever been done before, and the reason I'm doing it is uh, people in Tibet, for religious reasons, Buddhist mainly, I believe, uh, do a thing called prostrations. They, they, they prostrate and they crawl from village to village, even if it's hundreds of miles. And uh, they'll even crawl through streams if they're in their way. And so I figured the least I can do is crawl just a little short of a mile. By the time we're done, it'll be a mile across the Grand Coulee Dam. So I have some safety equipment. I have the little thing here for the traffic and all that. And I believe this will be the first time this has ever been done uh, in the history of the Grand Coulee Dam. Now behind me here, there's some pipes there uh, that you may see. And uh, these pipes carry the water from the reservoir, from the reservoir that the dam makes, FDR Lake. Uh, up into Banks Lake, which is at a higher elevation. From there, that, that lake's about, I think it's 27 miles long, it's just shy of 30 miles long. Uh, from there, from Banks Lake, then through a series of irrigation canals, uh, the whole central part of our state, the uh, Columbia Plateau, is, uh, is irrigated 
which uh, enables uh, farmers to uh, to grow their crops. Uh, if it were not for this dam, then and the uh, and the, the pipes here in Banks Lake and the whole system called the Reclamation Project, we wouldn't uh, be able to have those crops there. It wouldn't be feasible to farm there. It just wouldn't work. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start crawling here. I don't know how long it's going to take me. Uh, I'm a little nervous. It's a little warm today. I have some water with me. I have Johnny B. Thelman. Uh, he's going to help me out. He's going to give me some water every now and then. He says one of the rules is I can't stand up during the crawl, and so I'm going to honor that. And uh, and we'll keep you posted. This is where it starts right here. I figured this stop sign, the dam actually begins right there. I don't want to. I want to make sure I don't fall short. We've attracted the attention of the guards over here. Hey, show the guards if they're taking a the picture. Of <laughs> All right. Okay, so here we go. Here we are. Johnny, these knee pads aren't working. Problem already? That's a problem. Oh. Yeah, these aren't going to work. We're going to have to, look at that. Duct tape them. We're going to have to go get the duct tape. Yep. I've just been informed that my crawling is a little bit different than what the Tibetans do. I'm prostrating. I guess they stand up and they lay down and wiggle. They stand up again, they lay down. Uh, to, to be perfectly honest, I don't know if I could do that across this dam. I probably could, but I'm tired enough, as you can tell. Just crawling. We're a little more than halfway. I hope more than a little more than halfway. And uh, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. It's, uh, it's a sacrifice. I'm tired, uh, but we're gonna get there. See you in a bit. Big blister there. Yeah, hammers the knees. Yeah, and I slept pretty good. Now, how much farther do I have? First one ever? First one ever. <laughs> Outstanding. These guys were great. Hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome.